Welcome back for another video. In this video I'm going to talk about the 50th anniversary The Doors Soft Parade package. There's currently just one out right now and that is the I think it's one or yes one LP with the album remastered. Look at my information here that I have handy. So yes you get that then you get I believe the let's see here some select songs with uh, overdubs from the guitarist Robbie Krieger. These are brand new overdubs. I believe they were recorded this year. Um, the photo used on the cover here is from 1967. I don't remember what that is. Unfortunately, they did not include more uh, photos from this session in the 50th anniversary box set. Um, but you also get like uh, a roadhouse. Yeah, uh, what? Roadhouse Blues with Ray Manzarek singing. I guess some people joked and said Jim went to the bathroom or something or went to have a, stepped out to have a drink and Ray took over the vocals. Then you have um, You Need Meat, Don't Go No Further. Once again with Ray Manzarek. That was also recorded, I believe it was also recorded during the LA Women's Sessions as well. It's on there, I believe. Yeah, I believe it's on the... Uh, two CD 40th anniversary deluxe edition which that I do own then you have doors only in other words they took out the orchestra on touch me running blue wish real sinful on disc two as well um, it would be cool just to get the entire album without um, the orchestra I know they're releasing a record store day special record uh, with that audio I believe the entire album without the orchestra so then you have the song on disc 3 I am troubled seminary school aka petition lowered prayer and the semi-complete version of rock is dead that there's an edited version on the doors 1997 box set that I also own <laughs> shown many times here on the channel for those who don't know um, but and the song chaos some of these songs they the Doors posted on their official YouTube. Of course, I'm sure the record company had uh, had to green light all that and pretty much probably uh, were the ones behind all that. Or they uh, signed off on allowing those songs to be put on YouTube. That's great. That promotes the box set. I'm not going to buy it. There's not enough new material here that I haven't heard. Um, not enough exciting material. You also have I'm Your Doctor with Rayon vocals again on disc two. Um... From what I heard on YouTube, I was in, I liked it, um, but that rock is dead as long. It's like, I believe it's an hour uh, worth of um, audio, I believe. Maybe it's 30 minutes, 45 minutes, but um, I know the cut down version is, I think, 8 minutes, 10 minutes or something like that. Um, that was an hour worth of music. I don't know. But, um... I've noticed with these, uh... Anniversary sets... <coughs> they're... they're uh, all these 50th anniversary sets. They're getting better and better with them. And... I think that started with this release. Uh, mind you, this is not the 50th anniversary box set. I don't own it. <coughs> I mean, <clears throat> the, <clears throat> excuse me, oh, and then you also have Robert DeLeo of Stone Temple Pilots um, playing bass on some of the, um, one of the rehearsals of one of these songs, I found that strange, and that they're adding in overdubs on a 50-year-old album on, like, uh, rehearsals and the actual tracks, album tracks. Uh. But like I said, what I heard on YouTube, you know, it was it was neat to hear something new from this album session. The Morrison Hotel, they're uh, adding a bunch of uh, unheard takes of songs. Peace Frog and, uh, what is it? Uh, blue, that blue song, I forget the name of it. I talked about all that in the, uh, that video. Um, and I'll link that at the end of this. So yeah, um... 
Now what's to come on the LA Woman one, we'll have to see. I would recommend buying this 50th anniversary box set if you're just a huge fan of that album. This is a good album, but it is my least favorite album by The Doors. Um, don't get me wrong, you have all the great, you know, guitar famous um, guitar playing by Robbie Krieger that is very distinctive of The Doors. And you can't mistake his playing for anybody else. And the same goes for other, you know, guitarists and other rock groups. It would be interesting if they had added the live PBS um, Soft Parade songs that they did in 1969. They went on the show, no audience, just went in front of the cameras and performed. That's That was great. I mean, it would be cool, also cool if they would include DVDs like um, of live footage done around the time of the uh, like tour for the album or whatnot. And, you know, some... Uh, some music videos and stuff in better quality than that was put on the Doors Perception box set. Because looking at those, they're not... They don't look that great. Some of them. It looks like those are tacked on as just an afterthought. It was just thought of... Excuse me. At the last minute. Um, but that doesn't take away from the brilliance of that box set. And I have done uh, videos on those in the past. So, yeah, the Doors Soft Parade. Look forward to the... Record stay, I'm sorry, Record Store Day release of the Soft Parade. Uh, I think it was The Doors Only Mixes. I forget exactly what they called it. Um, but the information I do get on that, I will put that in the description for people that want to buy that, even in the future. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend getting the 50th Anniversary box set if you're just a diehard fan. If you're not, then you can listen to the songs on YouTube for free like I did, or even buy the MP3 version. I believe there's an MP3 version. There has to be. So yeah, that is my impressions of the Door Soft Parade 50th Anniversary box set. Thank you very much for watching.